Hello, everybody. Hello. Please, everybody have a seat. Have a seat. Welcome to the White House, and congratulations to the Minnesota Lynx on winning their first ever WNBA championship. Uh, these women have brought glory back to the Twin Cities. Uh, I know there are a lot of fans at home who are happy to have a professional title back in Minnesota. Uh, this team has come a long way to get here. Uh, just two years ago, the Lynx had the worst record in the WNBA. <laughs> I'm just saying. Uh, but uh, they, they didn't let, let it get them down. They got to work. Uh, GM Roger Griffith is here, and he'll tell you that it, it was hard work for him, too. Uh, it helped that the team drafted uh, UConn uh, standout Maya Moore. Uh, she is becoming a regular here. I mean, this is like the fourth time she's shown up at the White House. Uh, she, she just somehow likes to attract hardware. Uh, he picked up veterans like uh, uh, Rebecca Brunson and Lindsey Whalen, and Cheryl Reeves took over as head coach and has done an extraordinary job. Uh, apparently, that, that was the recipe to go from worst to first. Uh, by the end of the season, Maya was Rookie of the Year. Lindsay led the league in assists. Cheryl was Coach of the Year. The team had the best record in the league. They made their home games the hottest ticket in town. Uh, then, just in case anybody doubted their dominance, they marched through the playoffs, losing only one game and sweeping their final two series. Uh, that is one heck of a turnaround. Uh, in the championship series, the Lynx faced uh, a very tough uh, Atlanta dream, but they were ready. Uh, I hear they brought in a bunch of men who played in college to imitate the dream in practice so they, they could get an extra edge. Uh, and those were some brave guys because <laughs> I wouldn't want to take, uh, take any of these ladies on. I, I've had the pleasure of playing with Maya, uh, and she lit everybody up. Uh, it, it is not fun when she's raining down jumpers on you. Uh, but obviously it worked. And in the finals, the Lynx came back from three consecutive first-half deficits and took home the championship trophy. Uh, they won it on the shooting of uh, Simone uh, Augustus, uh, who averaged nearly 25 points a game, and after leading the scoring charge in the final game, was named, not surprisingly, finals MVP. Uh, and they won it uh, on the heart and grit of, of uh, Taj McWilliams Franklin, uh, Mama Taj played the uh, final game on a sprained knee and still managed to secure the paint and pull down four rebounds. So there's no question that these are some outstanding basketball players, but uh, they also find the time to raise money for breast cancer research, help local students with reading. Uh, I hear they clean up pretty well for their uh, catwalk for a cure fashion show. <laughs> So this team does it all, and they do it in style. <laughs> and I appreciate uh, the Lynx taking time uh, to stop by today because they're in the middle of their season right now, and they've picked up right where they left off, on top of the Western Conference by a wide margin. Uh, coach just told me that they've now secured home court advantage throughout the playoffs uh, with three games to go, best record in the league. They're leading the, point, uh, the, the league in points, rebounds, assists. Uh, so you've got the idea they're, they're pretty good. Uh, and uh, I have a feeling that we might end up seeing them back here before long. Uh, and, and finally, I, I was saying to these folks as I was, I was uh, backstage, uh, you know, as the husband of a tall, good-looking woman, <laughs> and as the father of two tall, uh, fabulous girls, uh, it is just wonderful to have uh, these young ladies as role models. There, there's something about women's athletics. We know. Uh, for a fact that when, uh, when girls are involved in athletics, they do better across the board. Uh, you know, they, they're, they're more confident, they're, they do better in school, they have less social problems. We, we know all the statistics. Um, but you know, what, what's also true is, is that uh, our, our women athletes just present themselves so well and uh, are such great ambassadors for the game. Uh, and. Uh, you know, as I was pointing out, you know, you don't see them on Sports Center doing stupid stuff. You know, they, they, they play the game the right way. They, they, they compete fiercely, but they're good, uh, uh, you, know, you know, great sports, uh, sports women. And so they're just wonderful examples for, for my daughters and my niece and 
Uh, for, for so many parents, I think we all feel really, really great uh, about uh, what the WNBA has accomplished, but uh, uh, what uh, this team in particular has accomplished. So I want to say thank you to all of you. Congratulations. I'm going to invite uh, Coach to come up and just say a few words. Thank you. Thank you, uh, President Obama. On behalf of not only uh, the Lynx players standing here, but every player in the WNBA, we want to thank you for being a WNBA fan. Uh, your presence at our games empowers women and girls to pursue their dreams, and that's, that's really important to us. So we, we thank you for that. Uh, extremely honored to be here today. Uh, we are the 2011 WNBA champions, uh, not only because of the talent-laden group that stands behind the President and I, uh, but most importantly, because this group is incredibly selfless, and that's what makes a champion. And uh, we have tremendous leadership with, with Mama Taj and Rebecca Brunson and Lindsey Whalen. Uh, and then as, you, as the President mentioned, our WNBA Finals MVP, Simone Augustus, who's gonna present the President as a commemor com to commemorate the WNBA Championship, a jersey to President Obama. Thank you for having us here. Absolutely. Thank you. The, uh, you, you want to say something, Simone? Say hi to Mom. <laughs> hey, Mom. Why don't, we, why, don't we, uh, why don't we knock this down so we get a good, good uh, picture? All right, one more question. 